In this video, I will use scientific tools to build a phylogenetic tree of humans and apes on the basis of FST runs. FST measures genotype similarity between populations. It ranges from zero to one with lower values, representing closer genetic relation. What FST does not measure is structural differences. Structural differences are arguably more important than genotype differences because they're what leads to certain populations being unable to breed with one another. The most common type of structural change is called a CNV, which stands for copy number variant. The most common types of CNVs are duplications, insertions, and deletions. You may be surprised to find out that there are structural differences in human DNA too. Sometimes human DNA structure is too different for them to be able to breed, and in science that is called game tick incompatibility. And, you guessed it, game tick incompatibility is more likely to occur when the two partners are of different racial backgrounds. I used Harvard's 1,240K and human origins datasets to conduct this analysis. First, let me explain why I didn't just use raw FST values to separate the populations into distinct clusters. Here there, by the way. Anyway, the reason I didn't use raw FST values to classify these humans into groups is that FST is inflated when the target population is highly drifted or in simpler terms inbred. Because of this, I decided to build a PCA on the basis of these FST runs. That way, populations who are highly inbred could be accurately compared to populations that are less inbred. Here is the PCA I was able to construct on the basis of those FST runs with predetermined anchor populations. I wrote a Python script to do this PCA analysis and ran it from Google Collab. On this PCA, you can see that all humans make quite a tight cluster, with sub-Saharan Africans slightly deviating towards archaic populations. On this PCA, we can also see that Neanderthals and Denisovans fall intermediate between the gorilla and chimp clusters. I did not include orangutans in this FST run because the orangutan sample in the dataset is a human origin sample and its genotyping process is different from chimps and gorillas. And here is the phylogenetic tree I built on the basis of this PCA. I used hierarchical clustering to generate the phylogenetic tree. As you can see, this phylogenetic tree doesn't quite capture human diversity correctly. This is because the most deviating components are archaic, which makes the model overemphasize genetic proximity to Neanderthals, chimpanzees, and gorillas. I removed the non-human groups from the dataset and ran the PCA again. Here is the updated PCA with only human groups. On this PCA, we see that Australians and South African hunter-gatherers are the most divergent human lineages. Here is a phylogenetic tree built on the basis of this reduced dataset. Thank you for watching. All of the data used in this research is publicly accessible. Consider leaving a like and sharing this video if you enjoyed it.